Welcome to Inexpert Film Advice, and today we're going to be talking about why we need a Darth Vader movie. Now before we get started, make sure you force push that subscribe button for me, okay? Cool? Cool. Now this isn't going to be my typical type of inexpert film advice video where I give my inexpert advice on film and filmmaking and stuff. No, this is a special one. In the wake of The Last Jedi being released, I wanted to talk about something that's been bothering me for a really long time. We need a Darth Vader standalone film. Why do we need a standalone Darth Vader movie? The real question is, why don't we have one already? Now, I always wanted a Darth Vader film, but I never actually thought we'd get one. But then they announced a Han Solo and Obi-Wan standalone film. What about Vader? And then this happened. Oh, so good. So, so good. This was the spark that lit the fire, Poe Dameron voice. No, but seriously though, look at this. We have never seen Darth Vader look more cool and more powerful than he does in Rogue One. Don't believe me? Okay, check this out. In the original Star Wars, we got Obi-Wan versus Vader, which looked like this. Now, likely it was because of budgetary restraints and because it was the first film that it kind of looked slow paced and stuff like that. Fine, okay, understandable. In an Empire, we got a pretty good lightsaber battle, but I kind of got the feeling that Vader was just toying with Luke. Honestly, if you don't think Vader could have beat Luke with his arm tied behind his back, you don't know how powerful Vader was. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a really good lightsaber battle. Second in my mind only to the Mustafar duel between Anakin and, and Obi-Wan. But that's not Vader at full power, no way. I never actually thought it was. And the same thing in Return of the Jedi. In both Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Vader was never trying to kill Luke. He was trying to turn Luke to the dark side. So if Vader never intended to kill Luke, he clearly was holding back a little. Honestly, we've never seen Vader look like this, like how he looked in Rogue One. To put it plainly, Darth Vader is Star Wars. The films follow him and his offspring. So I guess in that sense, we already have seven Darth Vader movies. Huh. Well, never mind, my mistake. This has been Inexpert Film Advice, and I'm your host. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yes, the Star Wars films are about Vader's turn to the dark side and his eventual redemption, but we've never seen Vader at his full power, which is why we need a Darth Vader film. Honestly, the originals were seen mostly through the eyes of C-3PO and R2-D2, and I can make an argument that the originals followed Obi-Wan more so than Anakin. And the sequels are obviously not really about Darth Vader at all, but I'm talking about a Vader movie from his perspective. There's no more iconic movie villain than Darth Vader, but he's also a very complex character. And there are large gaps in between films that we can fill with some Darth Vader movies. There's a lot we really don't get to see. Of course there are novels and comics, but at its heart of hearts, Star Wars is a film franchise. And we want Vader films, Disney. We want Vader's early years after the events of Revenge of the Sith, or how Vader rose to greater heights in the Empire after the destruction of the Death Star, or his struggle with the light and the dark side which never truly went away. I'm just saying, there's a lot of story to be told and it doesn't seem like anybody's telling it, on film at least. I'm a big fan of the Vader comics, but I wanna see them live action. We've never seen Vader at the height of his powers being the most feared and respected being in the galaxy. Vader is supposed to be one of the best, if not the best swordsman in all of the Star Wars lore. Other than this little short scene in Rogue One, we never really got to see him break loose. He's also the chosen one. One of, if not the most powerful being in all of Star Wars. I'm just saying, we need a Vader movie. Like, what the heck, Disney? But what do you think? Do we need a Darth Vader movie or have we seen enough Vader and we need to move on past him? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Deontay Jenkins with Inexpert Film Advice and I'll see you next time. Peace.